This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have an easy one. This is a dryer that is taking too long to dry. This is on a thin twin laundry center and it's probably just due to the filter being dirty. So you just reach in here and you can see the filter in the back on the right hand side. Just grab it with two fingers, pull it towards you and then you can take the filter right off. Also behind the filters, there's a screen that can accumulate a lot of lint over the years. And I would just reach in here and just pick out as much of this lint as you can. Um, some of it resides down uh, a little bit deeper where you have to reach in and then go down about three or four inches to grab some of the stuff laying on the bottom. But I would just reach in and get rid of as much of it as you can. And then if you have a small wire brush, you can brush through some of the other lint to get it off the screen. But dryers are all about airflow, so <clears throat> if some of the screen is obstructed, in this case you can see probably about 25% of it, it's going to reduce the drying efficiency by about that same percentage. So opening up the airflow is really important. And again, it's pretty easy. I'm just reaching and grabbing it. Um, then after that, you can use maybe a standard head screwdriver to poke in to push the lint inside so that it can flow out through the vent tube. Or you can use a wire brush like I'm using to scrub it so that you're creating more of these open holes in the screen because a lot of this is, has been plugged up. The lint tends to get kind of wet and it almost forms like a paper mache or like a thin concrete. Uh, it gets kind of tough and attaches itself to the screen. So a wire brush is pretty good for getting rid of it because it's it's a tougher type of a brush. So I'm just scrubbing it back and forth, up and down, like uh, brushing your teeth if you had a bunch of really bad stuff on it. And then when the stuff falls down, I'll reach in there and pull it out. But it's really easy to do on this machine. Uh, I think this probably hadn't been done for a long time. The uh, property owner probably just didn't know how to do this. But if you clean this <clears throat> maybe every second or third use, your dryer is going to do a lot better. Other things that can also create a problem where it's taking too long to dry can be the vent tube itself being occluded or kind of full of lint. And also the part that leaves your house, where the vent tube leaves your house, sometimes there's a screen on that too to keep critters out. And that can be full of a lot of lint. So <clears throat> it's good to check all these things periodically. And here's the uh, smaller screen that I'm cleaning, getting rid of all this stuff. This one just um, comes right off of that plastic piece that I took out originally. It just has little clips holding it in. Very easy to do. Also, we recommend not to use the dryer vent, of uh, dryer uh, lint sheets or anti-static sheets because they tend to put a waxy coating on these screens and it makes it harder for the air to flow. So we got that nice and clean, putting that back in on the clips, pretty easy to do. And we got the screen behind it clean. So we're just gonna push it back in and that should make that dryer work a lot better. Maybe, about 20 to 25 percent more efficient being able to uh, dry the clothes faster. So hope that works for you too. Pretty easy to do and just something that should be done um, maybe every second or third use. So that looks a lot better. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.